one here to visit. Is this about a new mission? Uh, yeah. What's wrong, Commander? You don't sound like your usual self. If Mustache Friend have troubles, maybe Tatsu can help. Right. We're alone here, yeah? Just your team? Yes, just who you see here. Okay, then. This mission is sensitive stuff. Need to know for your ears only, etc. All right? What is it? Did something happen? I won't beat around the bush. Nagi's gone missing. It's been six hours since we lost contact. He was out inspecting the lifehold remains we found in Primordia. Wait a sec. He did not go out there alone. He had a team of Harriers escorting him. Their last transmission was in combat with the Ganglion, and then nothing. Which I'm sure you'll agree does not bode well. At the same time, we don't want to jump to any conclusions, especially ones that could start a panic. down somewhere waiting for backup look I'll do my best to keep this under wraps while you check it out but we need you to hurry find him understood we'll leave right away Secretary Nagi's last transmission came from. Right. His escort team had arrived, and they were engaged with the ganglion here. Hmm. But Tatsu not see anyone. Elma, I'm picking up a residual heat signal. This battle must have went down recently. The signal just spiked. What the heck is going on? Let's go find out. wasn't enough to save them. I lost soldiers. Good ones. Those Harriers were your escorts, sir. Keeping you alive was their mission. I'm sure they have no regrets. He never would have let this happen. With respect, comparing yourself to those who are no longer with us won't get you anywhere, sir. But Tatsu is glad Secretary is safe. Team Tatsu should hurry and tell Mustache Man. I suppose you're right. Do me a favor. Head back to the city and file a report on all this. You're not coming with us, sir? There's something I need to do first. Sir... It's nice to be reminded we've got a leader worthy of the position.
Rest well, soldiers. Had I known I'd be forced to wait, I would have brought a book. Our apologies, Director General. Our blade work has been keeping us especially busy as of late. Besides, it's pretty unusual to get a direct request from you. I would hope that warrants its special priority. This mission affects us all. If it's an official mission, shouldn't we take it through the normal channels? Personally, I consider it very official, but both Nagi and Vandam refused me. Shouted me down, actually. What? Then we're probably not even allowed to take it, right? Let's hear the brief, and why they turned you down. A wise decision. You're familiar with Jair Fortress, yes? In a few days, we'll be hitting it with a surprise offensive. Of course. Every blade on the force is participating. We built our attack strategy around the idea of limiting casualties as much as possible. As such, we'll be employing mostly long-range fighting tactics. That would be the sensible choice. Yes, and I fully support it. But it makes gathering intel nearly impossible. Data on the present state of the Gangli. At the moment, we know next to nothing about their situation. We don't even know if it's possible to negotiate with them or not. We need more information in order to effectively formulate future plans. All right, you've made your ideas clear. What do you want us to do? Infiltrate the fortress before we strike. Gather whatever intel you can and return here with it. Is that even possible? Any answer I give would be idle speculation. But I do believe this mission is of the utmost importance. And I also believe that your team has the best chance of getting it done. So you decided to ask us face to face? That's quite the honor. Is that sarcasm? Take it as you will, sir. What if we refuse? Then I'll ask the team with the next highest chances, and so on. Send in the damn janitors if I have to. Whatever it takes. You truly believe it's this important? I do. All right, then. We'll do it. Excellent. But we're not taking any unnecessary risks. If things get hairy, we'll cut and run empty-handed if we must. That's all hope it never comes to. Just one question, if I may. Are those really your only reasons for wanting this intel? What other reasons would there be? <laughs> Any answer I give would be idle speculation. So... My goal has always been to secure a future for humanity on this planet. It's as simple as that. Alright, I'll take you at your word. Let's get back to the barracks and prepare. This one's going to be tough. Yeah. 
I hope you don't mind I let myself in. From the look on your face, I'm guessing you know about our meeting with the Director General. And from the look on yours, I'm guessing you accepted the mission. We'll do what we can. Elma was super clear. If things get dangerous, we'll call it off. Well, good. I'm glad to hear that. Don't forget, you're all far more valuable to us than any intel you might come back with. Tatsu totally agree and definitely never forget. In other words, don't worry about us. This should be the fortress mainframe. Think you can get in? I can try, but I wouldn't bother holding your breath. Even if I can, it'll take time. Better to pull the drive and analyze it later. All right, let's run with that. Just as soon as we're done with them. Let's take care of these things first, then we can retrieve the data. Secured, ma'am. You're amazing, Lynn. Now let's get out of here ASAP so we can head back to the city and report in. Is that the Ganglion data drive? Excellent work. You have my thanks. Not too happy to get thanks, but more happy to get reward. Of course. I'll reward you for your efforts with as large a sum as I'm able. Next comes the task of decrypting and analyzing this data. Elma, perhaps you could... I'm afraid not. However, I might suggest letting a man on take a look. If you'd like, we can bring it to someone we know. I see. I leave it to you, then. Yes. That's easy. Very, very easy, you know? 
That would be a huge help, yes. Thank you. For you, I'm more than happy to help, oh yes. Least I can do for saving my life, right? When you're finished, deliver the results straight to the Director General's office, okay? You got it, okay? All right, let's go give them our report. Wonderful. I'll expect a report from the man on them. It seems I was correct. Your team was the right one for the job. I hope you'll continue to assist in the future. Of course. As long as our goals align. Our mutual objective is the continued survival of the human race. This will not change. Indeed. The continued survival of the human race. Everything's a speech with that guy. No, that's one thing he's truly serious about. You know, I heard something the other day. Did you know about his son? The soldier? No. Is he a blade? He never left Earth. Apparently because of the Director General, he sent his son on a mission just before the White Whale took off. Corrupt man, he would have sent someone else's son on that mission. Mm. But he didn't, did he? I guess sometimes the right thing to do is also the hard thing, huh? Mr. Mustache is here! Right. Got a new mission for you. Tatsu, happy to take request under consideration. After dinner. Quite a down turn up. The commander's here to talk important business. This doesn't have anything to do with you, okay? Well, actually it does. In fact, Hash Brown here is the linchpin to this assignment. A mission that relies on Tatsu? What's the job? Basically, we want him to act as an emissary for us. Commissary? Sounds delicious! Tatsu, accept! He's not talking about food, dummy. It means to represent us to some other group, to act as an ambassador on our behalf. Aha! So friends choose Tatsu as most charming and attractive example of new L.A. residents. Well, mostly it's because we need to talk with your mama. Oh, this is just for the Nopon? Hey, don't sell those little critters short. The Nopon would make a crucial strategic ally. Exactly. They deal in materials from well outside our reach. And they trade with other races we don't. Not to mention their caravans bring in all kinds of news and info that we don't have access to here in NLA. It's true, they're skilled merchants. I'm sure sooner or later we'll need their cooperation if we want to build a unified Paris society. That's right. We can use all the know-how they have from interacting with the different tribes to keep everyone together. Hatsu get a bit lost at the end there. But understood parts about how great and awesome Nopon people are. All uh, right. Anyway, we'd be happy to host any Nopon inclined to move to New LA. 
And we'd like you to be the one to propose this new alliance. Understand? Sounds like we're going to see Coco. Yep, but that's just one stop on this little goodwill tour. I know you're already familiar with the Dodonga Caravan over in Nocturne. Then I also need you to visit the Dorian Caravan in Oblivion. Take them in whatever order you like. Chosan drafted a treaty for you to give the caravan orders. See if you can't get him to sign on his allies. We're counting on you. No problem, Hotatsu. Pon, calm down. Tatsu is not Dad Pon. Tatsu is Big Brother Pon. Aww. Why do Little Pon forget every time? And where is Mama Pon? Mama Pon gone fishing. Mama Pon left three days ago, but Mama Pon still gone. Big Brother Pon bring dinner. Big Brother Pon bring fishy. Wait, Little Pon say Mama Pon is gone three days. Who goes fishing for three days? Uh, this happened with Mama Pond before? No, never! This first time! Oh no! Friends, Tatsu must hurry and find Mama Pond! Okay. Never lose. 
hope I didn't get in the way. Mama Pan! Tatsu! Thank you, friend saved life of Coco. Mama Pan, what happened to Big Fish for Little Pan? Ah, yes. Well, it became snack for ugly critter friends just pounded. Oh, what will Little Pan eat? Why, ugly critter, of course. Now be good, Tatsu, and help Mama Pan carry it home. That's, uh, wow, yeah. Never cooked one of those before. But either way, you're trying it before me. Tatsu, didn't Commander Vandom have something for you to ask? <laughs> Tatsu almost completely forget! Mama Pan, Mustache Man Rest of ULA have request for Dodonga Caravan. They want Mama Pan to sign treaty brought by Emissary. Meaty bought by Cemetery? He's referring to an agreement that our city and your caravan would become allies, Coco. Oh, -ho! well then, sound lovely. Then Mama Pod need to sign treaty. <laughs> okay, Coco has signed. Now, big city and Dodonga caravan, best of friends. Yay! We appreciate your cooperation. Treaty finished. and comes as emissary with important treaty. You come here as secretary? To do what? Fool! Tatsu clearly say emissary. Are you the leader of this caravan? Oi, yes! Mujiji is dashing and handsome head honcho of Dorian Caravan. Mujiji Hancho, mustache man from New L.A. want Dorian Caravan to sign treaty. Treaty will form allegiance between caravan and city. A firm grievance? Caravan do something wrong? No, allegiance. It just means Mujiji and new LA humans become friends. Oi! Mujiji know what allegiance are. Mujiji not stupid. So, do you think maybe you could sign it? That depends on show of goodwill from friends of Tatsu. Goodwill? Oi! Friends want to form brotherhood with Dorian Caravan? Then Mujiji need contract fee first. Fee? How much Mujiji want? Hmm. Mujiji settle for this much. Seriously? That much? They view everything in terms of the bottom line. Say what you will, but at least they're honest about it. Friends understand. This make everything easy. If Mujiji totally honest, this actually amazing bargain for caravan friendship. <laughs> Tatsu have no choice. Mujiji wait here. Tatsu and friends bring cash to purchase friendship. Oi! Act now while supply lasts. Hey, listen. Friends bring contract fee? Yes! Payday! Whole caravan get loopy on pollen orbs tonight! 
All the fluff shrimps we can eat! Joining Mujiji Caravan was best idea ever! Oi! Mujiji said so, right? Uh, yes! Good work, friends! Mujiji happy to sign treaty now! <laughs> All signed! Yay! We bought friendship! Thanks for your cooperation. Now Dorian Caravan and Big City are brothers! Caravan in trouble. Friends make sure to come to help. That complete crucial and important mission. Now we report back to Mustache Man. Thinking? Wouldn't be here if you weren't, right? Perfect. Let's drink. I'm buying. <laughs> what? Too good to drink my booze? Nobody likes a wet blanket. Come on, live a little. Let's party the night away. The best! I didn't think we'd actually go till dawn. Right then. You ready for the main event? You gotta ask? Racking indigent skulls, of course. What else would an interceptor do? Anyway, guess I never introduced myself. The name's Fry. The rest of the Interceptors call me the Killer Ostrich. Worst nickname ever, right? Well, I love it. I'm always taking the dangerous jobs nobody else will touch with a ten-foot pole. Hence the nickname. Well, the killer part, anyway. I take it as a compliment. But it means I gotta nick some nasties today if I wanna keep my breath. Care to join me? Seeing as we're old pals and all now? Like you. Let's you and me knock this baby out of the park. Today's mission is critter cleanup on Silvalum. There's a lot of them. It'd be a hassle to explain it, so just check your comm device later, okay? We'll take them out in the order they're listed.
listen. to weaken your opponent first. Chew on this. Does 
doesn't even count as a warm up. Takes care of that. Today was easy street. Didn't know he was in the company of a master. Nah, I try to work with others when I can. Of course, not many people are eager to join me on the sorts of missions I take. So sometimes I'll just handle them myself. But you? I'd work with you again any day, no question. That's what I'm saying! And I'm happy to help out with your missions, too. Anytime you see me hanging around the diner, hit me up. Timing. I just got a juicy tip. Care to get in on it? That's all right. What, seriously? Don't you even want to hear what it is first? Something tells me if it was that juicy, you wouldn't be approaching me about it like this. Oh, come on. You make me sound like a con man. You could at least feign interest, you know? Common courtesy and all that? Ah, common courtesy. You mean back on Earth. Yeah, I know we're on Mira now and all, but still. All right, Doug, all right. Let's hear it. That's more like it. Meet me in back of the diner in the industrial district, okay? Fewer ears there, you know? Fine. Here, look at this. See this location? Apparently, it's become home to a pack of very dangerous indigents. That's not good. That's a Frontier Nav probe site. If they damage the probe, it'll make it harder to collect Moranium. Bingo. And check out how much old Handlebar Stash is offering to make sure that doesn't happen. What the what? I've never seen such a high reward before. He's obviously thinking this mission will require ten teams or more. Ah, oh, so that's why. Bummer. It's a way smaller number when you split it ten ways. But... it seems the job isn't public yet. A particularly ambitious team could swoop in and take the whole thing for themselves. Assuming they lived, that is. How did you get this info anyway? Sorry, I can't tell you that. Suffice to say, Someone at HQ is not very good at poker. Some secret. You just basically told us. Okay, well, whatever. It's still a juicy tip, ain't it? But even I'm not crazy enough to try it alone, which is why I immediately thought of you guys. So, what do you think? Hmm. Any thoughts?
Actually, if you consider the firepower we bring, that sounds about fair. Now hold on a minute. Don't forget who found the job in the first place. Look, how about I don't charge for the tip and we split it 50-50, okay? <sighs> right. Now that that's so, let's head out before my team gets suspicious. This one's just me and you guys. starting to sound less crazy now that I see all of them. Well, may as well get started. takes care of this area, but I'm reading more up ahead. We'll head there next. Say we found the pack. Take him down and the rest should scatter. Let's do it. Sure, you can do this the hard way. should be easy to mop up. 
something wrong? Back in town, yeah. So guess what? They just posted that job. You should have seen Vandom's face when I told him it was already done. Ha! <laughs> All according to plan, huh? I told him half the reward goes to you. And they all lived happily ever after. Hmm. What? You still upset about those little whelps? No, it's... I get it. We need that spot safe for developmental reasons. But... But after you, when it was over, you had this look on your face. I could tell something was bothering you. <laughs> Nothing gets past you, does it? So you're making good on his debts? Yep. Let's just say my old man knew how to live it up. He racked up a fortune in IOUs before he suddenly kicked the bucket. I was hardly old enough to work when it happened. Barely scraped by. But surely you're under no obligation to pay his debts. Not legally, no. But all those people were left hanging, so... So you took on dangerous jobs. High risk, high pay? I was your man. <laughs> if you actually believe that, you're as crazy as I am. But wait, now all those people are... Yep, gone. Along with the rest of Earth. Then why are you still doing it? Well, truth is, I'm saving up money to build them a giant gravesite. A memorial, I guess. A bit morbid, I know. Well, that's one way to put it. Anyway, that was a good day's work. Catch you all later. What is it, Lindley? He didn't pay the bill for his coffee! <sighs> Generous to a fault. Emphasis on the fault. us friends in need, correct? Oh, what? Sorry, El, I don't follow. We wish to speak to you of a slight problem. Hmm, Tatsu will listen for free. <sighs> Truly a no pawn's no pawn, it pains me to say. <laughs> Heavenly no! 
It has always been our policy to run a debt-free business. We'd be happy to hear your problem and help out if we can, El. Splendid! We thank you for deciding in our favor. So, as it happens, we invent things in our spare time. Whoa, really? What sort of things do you make? We're very pleased you asked, and we'd be equally pleased to answer, were it not a trade secret. Oh, come on. So then what was it you wanted help with, El? Unfortunately, we've been unable to procure the materials necessary for our tinkering. Resources were more plentiful when we lived in Noctilum, you see. Well, yeah. Here in the city, we mostly have finished products as opposed to raw materials. Just so. Yet the world beyond these walls is, as you say, all about survival and the fattest. Gathering resources amid such brutality is difficult for us. More intellectual types, we fear. Hmm, does you know exactly what L mean? He said intellectual, not ineffectual. All right, well, now I understand what you're asking for, and I think we can help. Just let us know what you need, and we'll try to track it down. <laughs> Wonderful. Splendid! Thank you so very much for stepping up to the full plate. Tatsu want more on his plate, too. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. But anyway, it sounds like we're going on a mission for El. You know we're going to have to charge you for it, right, El? Of course, and we will pay most handsome. dream you'd find the materials so soon. Now we can unleash the wondrous magic of our new stock upon the world. Hmm, the new stuff still looks pretty standard to me. Only to the eyes of an amateur, my friend. Oh, but it looks like we already have a customer. Welcome, welcome. What may we help you find? So my team's taking on this job, yeah? But the area's crammed with indigents. If it's weapons you're after, I'm afraid you've got the wrong shop. Are you nuts? I wouldn't dream of trying to fight those things. We just want to run them off, yeah? Of course, we understand. In that case, we have just the thing. Don't we, Special Assistant Manager? work. Let's see how those bastards react to this. <laughs> Thanks a million. Ah, the simple joys of life. To craft goods and see them sold. To watch the customer's face and begin in satisfaction. Oh, and look, another customer. Welcome and good day. What may we offer you? Well, I... I recently started dating someone. Hey, that's great! Uh, thanks. Anyway, I wanted to cook him dinner, but... Cease speaking! We have the perfect item for your needs! Isn't that right, Special Assistant Manager? work thank you er, again is that really gonna work that would certainly be lovely wait you don't know how could we we were not the one who suggested it and even if it doesn't work now surely there must be some other future use it will be perfect for that's one way to look at it 